hello friends welcome back to my channel and today i will review fdcp 15 and the new release from 4.0 cooling that is monster dodger cooling pad i will also show you the power difference between these cooling pad and the accessories including with these products and also i will use some uh, some standard component like uh, uh, a4 sheets so that i can show you the power so guys first of all i will discuss about the included accessories of fdcp 15 so here you can see the power adapter that is 12 volt 3 ampere and the power rating is 36 watt and the speed regulator also having the capability of 12 volt 3 ampere 36 watt and here the cooling pad is power rated is 2.1 ampere so that it can uh, fully utilize the power and it can run for many hours of gaming okay so the configuration of fdct 15 is having three fans of 92 mm and uh, you can see the thickness is approximate one inch so 25 mm is the thickness so the total airflow is 160 cfm so it will be higher than any cooling pad available in market uh, expect than this inclination angle that is approximate 12 to 13 degree so that it can be easily uh, you can easily use it while you are uh, turning your hand on the uh, mouse pad and uh, using your keyboard so it will be easily lie in the comfort zone of every user so there is very low inclination angle and it will be very easy to use in the previous video i have already discussed about the feature new feature added here that is uh, bottom black for the cooling pad support and here is the anti-slip rubber here also the black uh, rails are at the front so the same will be continued to the monster other. So I will show you the performance of this cooling pad and I am here running with the speed regulator. So just connecting this to here and now connecting this pin to the cooling pad. You can see the sound, you can also control the sound. So I am putting only one screen here. You can see while keeping it very low, here is the result. I'm also adding two sheets and three sheets, four sheets, five, and keeping it to the full. So now you can see it having capability to pull up to 5 sheets many people are asking to me that which cooling pad will be best for their use so i will firstly suggest that fdcp 15 will be perform very well if you are using high end gaming some uh, studio type work so i suggest that you should go with fdcp 15 you have already used fdcp 15 and you are not uh, happy with the result and you want any higher side of the cooling pad and uh, then it will now enter to the monster other okay now i am talking about monster other so monster other is coming with the same power adapter that is 12 volt 3 ampere the power rating is same that is 36 volt and uh, here will be the difference that is speed controller so the difference between these two speed regulator is that the power rating of this speed regulator is 12 volt 3 ampere at the peak so it can handle the 2.1 ampere here because that is the lower side and 3 ampere is the peak in monster dozer the power rating is 12 volt 2.8 ampere so this peak load cannot be utilized for many hours of gaming so we have added these speed regulators so it can handle hours of gaming you can also run it 3 to 4 hours the power rating of this speed controller is 12 volt 30 ampere really the power is very higher side 
basically dc regulator having a heat sink if you are using for the higher voltage then there will be a bigger heat sink and uh, if you are using for lower voltage then there will be small heat sink okay so if you are using this small heat sink here then it will heat up easily and uh, if you are using this for this cooling pad it will also heat but it will take time it will take time for four five six hours according to the speed you are running here okay now i am showing you the power of monster dozer so putting it here here also the same connectivity connect the power adapter to here and keeping to the very low side and putting one sheet two three i'm just stopping here to show you that how it is flowing and just releasing some power so there is three paper four five six seven and just rotating here so that you can see eight Nine, ten. I'm just also releasing some power here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There is no any change. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. And seven, and just filling in more power. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. I have placed forty feet here, and there is no any change. Just switching it down and running again. Here is the full speed, and you can see the result. I will show you the silence of these monster fans. If you are running at higher power, then you will hear the noise like this. And if you are dropping down the speed controller, there is very silent, no noise. Just raising up to five to ten percent. There is very little airflow and little noise. Just dropping it down, and you can see that fan is running at very lower speed. Okay, so I'm just. Switching off here. And all the fan is being stopped. So guys, how's the video? 
and please comment on my comment section